One of the big changes that I'm making to my EDC this year, my everyday carry, is the Alpaca Vertex Pouch. I am absolutely in love with this pouch. I got this on a Kickstarter I signed up for back in September of 23. These units shipped out to early backers uh, right before Christmas. I think I got it a week before Christmas. Not exactly sure when these are being released. I was told January and then February, so I don't know exactly. But hopefully Alpaca will reach back out to me and let me know about that. But this is an excellent organizer pouch and it does a few other things that we'll talk about. Very excited about this pouch, so let's go take a look. Now, before we get to the video, uh, just a programming note, if you have not subscribed, again, would love for you to do that. We are approaching and will probably eclipse 12,000 subscribers here in the next day or two. If you did not see the live stream with Sam of EDCNC himself, uh, make sure you check that out. I re-uploaded it here to my channel, so make sure you check that out under the videos. Had a lot of fun with that. Let us know. Let me know here down in the comments if that's something you're looking forward to. Also wanted to thank you for all of your suggestions on my 2024 trends video. I talked about some trends that I expect to see or I want to see in 2024, and you had a bunch of suggestions for videos. I'm not uh, short on ideas for videos, but you really helped out a lot, gave me some really great ideas. So thank you so much for that. Okay, that's it, back to the video. So normally when something does or tries to be multiple things at the same time, it doesn't do a good job with any of them. Uh, take, for example, the printer, fax, copier, scanner combos. They may have multiple jobs, but they don't do any of them very well. Well, this is what the Vertex pouch is trying to promise here. This is the Alpaca, of course, Vertex pouch. I have this in the X-Pack with the orange interior. We'll see that here in just a moment. This is an organizer tech pouch, a desk caddy, and a sling bag all at the same time. Now this is the exterior. Uh, this is fairly big. As you can see, this is a pretty good size and I'll put the measurements here on the screen, but you're gonna have this pretty, be pretty wide, but it's not gonna be wider than maybe the Cap 2L from Evergoods. And it's gonna be just a little bit taller to accommodate all the different things. But this has got a number of features that I just love. So let's turn it around, look at the back actually. There is a very, we'll talk about the exterior first. This is a little loop for, well, basically whatever you'd like it to be, but this actually latches onto Alpaca's hub system. Now I don't have any kind of hub uh, things. I don't have any products that can necessarily participate in the hub. I think I may have one, but this is something that is built to uh, participate in their hub system. These two, uh, these two carriers right here are meant for the sling bag portion and they are very unobtrusive. They do not get in the way. They're not hanging off the side and you can use these when you're using this in sling bag form. This handle right here is incredibly stout. Like you can see how thick that is and it is incredible. Now, I do want to say before we get really into this that Alpaca did not send this to me. I um, sponsored the Kickstarter. They were doing this on Kickstarter. I kept seeing the advertisements, I believe, on Instagram for it. And uh, it's a really good pouch. Let's go ahead and open it up. You've got waterproof or water resistant, rather, YKK zippers on the outside. And you've got one zipper right here. I'll show you this right here. This allows you to get inside of this pouch right here that's got, you know, I've got a couple of pins and different things like that, but I'll show you on the inside what it looks like. So when you bring it down like this, you can see that it magnetizes. And so you've got a magnet there and I'll show a couple more B-roll shots of this right here. But there's a magnet right here. So where that's going to magnetize to itself and it's going to sit up, it's almost going to be like a, a, a kickstand for the entire pouch itself. You didn't have this, the pouch would tend to fall over, but this one's got these nice magnets that go clunk and they go right in place. That is, to me, that's the best feature because I can put this on my desk, open it up, and it is absolutely outstanding to be able to use as a desk caddy. Now these are, we're gonna go over the items in here. Uh, I'm not gonna go into big detail or anything like that. You've probably seen all of these items already. Uh, and most of them are not EDC items, they're mostly tech items. But um, right here, of course, I got a little bit of cash stowed right here. 
And you've got, let's just go over the compartments before we get ahead. There's a couple of different, and I love this webbing style that you've got right here. It's not exactly mesh, uh, but it's stretchy enough and you've got elastic bands on the top uh, right here to hold different things in place. And then you've got some more magnetic stuff right here. This, this middle part magnetizes, as you can see, magnetizes to itself. This is for some good stuff with some smaller stuff like SD cards and whatnot. I've got a bunch of little USB adapters and USB drives in here as well. Uh, I've got some alcohol wipes, lens wipes in here. Those are incredibly useful. But it magnetizes shut, as you can hear that. So that's really, really cool. But back behind here, you've got a zipper pouch inside of here with different body, and we'll go over that when we get to it. But you can see right here that this is this nice orange octagon pattern material. You've got a nice mesh pouch right here that opens up very easily. You can put anything you want to. You can put cords in here. You can put, I have chosen to put pens and pencils because I'm a analog kind of guy sometimes. So I've got a number of pens and pencils in here as well as a ruler. I like to do that kind of stuff, that analog type stuff as well. And again, if you have anything metal in here, it's gonna to magnetize to those two things. These are pretty, those are pretty strong magnets. So moving up to the top here, you've got this open area where you can put a number of different things right here. I have got some um, contact lens, kind of re-wetting wipes right there, or not wipes, uh, re-wetting drops rather, because in long road trips, my contacts get dry. That helps to have those things in tow. And so I've got a couple of different EDC items. I've got, I've talked about this and I'll have all of these linked below in the description if you want to catch some of these. Uh, I've had this for years. This is an Anchor MagSafe battery that goes right onto my phone and uh, it's very good. It's got a really good charge as you can see the different indicator lights here. You can also charge anything via USB-C that you would like to charge. Uh, and this tech pouch fits it very nicely. I've got one single braided USB-C cable right here. This is an Apple branded cable. I've got a bunch of other cables. In fact, I've got some other data cables that also fit in here as well. I've got a 10 gigabit uh, cable for, and I'll go ahead and tell you about these, these little tiny hard drives. So these little tiny hard drives are, is called an M2 Smart SSD. This is by Doc Case. And you can put a tiny little SSD in here and what it does is when you plug it up, I'll show you some B-roll of this right here. When you plug it up, it gives you something on the screen. It gives you a nice little indicator of how much space you have left, what's the drive speed, all that kind of stuff. Cool little OLED screen on here to show you that kind of stuff. Not necessary at all, complete overkill, but I really want it just connects via USB-C and then I hook that to my computer. And it's a really good, nice little hard drive to have. I've got a one terabyte in here and I believe I've got a two terabyte drive in here. So I've got the white, the silver rather, and the black together. And these are, these enclosures are not incredibly cheap, but I just thought they were so neat uh, and they fit so well in this bag. And so you can stack those on top. I'd probably fit two more in here as small as those are. But you can also fit other different little hard drives. I've got this little on drive in here and you could fit that anywhere in here that you'd like. There's a lot, there's a lot of space as you can see right in here. I've got an anchor charger and I love this anchor charger. This is the Nano 2 65 watt. Uh, it's important when you're talking tech stuff to know what watts your stuff pulls. So for your phone, you need anywhere between 12 and 20 watts. For your iPad, you need anywhere between, I'd say 20 and 30 watts. Uh, and with a computer, especially maybe like a, a big MacBook Pro, you need like 100 watts. But a 65 watt charger for me and my 14 inch MacBook Pro is going to be able to charge, I can slow charge my MacBook Pro with just this little power brick and a USB-C cable and that's it. That's really convenient for me, especially going on trips and not having to bring a million different adapters. I've got a two port 100 watt adapter specifically for stuff when I do video work, but this gets me through a pinch whenever I need to. So I can charge phone, iPad, uh, everything with this, really, really nice. So Anchor Nano 2, they may even have the Nano 3 out now. I know Anchor comes out with something new probably every single week. But that being said, I did skip over these two EDC items that I wanna talk about. This is the Olight Baton 4. 
And this has been, this is my favorite flashlight of 2023 and I'm hoping that it will be, uh, get well a lot of use into 2024. It's just the perfect nice little size to fit in here. Uh, I could probably, in fact, I've left myself open some room to fit other EDC items in here if I wanted to as well. But here is the SOG Power Pint. And this is my favorite, uh, don't, don't care if I lose it multi-tool. I believe this is 40 bucks and it's got a smooth as silk opening. It's got pliers on it, which I actually use in the day job quite a bit. And it's got a bunch of other different tools on it as well. It's a very good solid multi-tool. It's not something that you're going to have. It's not a, it's not going to be a replacement for like a Leatherman Arc or maybe even a Leatherman Wave. It's not going to be as durable, uh, but it is a really good little multi-tool to have in your EDC bag when you need something in a pinch. And this is really, really, really when you need something in a pinch. And this is awesome to have. And so that's the SOG Power Pint. And I love how it just kind of sits right there and I can grab it anytime that I need to as well. You've got a big area here in the center. I'll take these out and I'll talk about these in a minute. But you got a big area in the center to where you can move it up and you can move it back. You can actually create a lot of room. If you don't have anything right there, you can actually create a lot of room by compressing it back and putting something much bigger in here in the front if you wanted to, or you could pull it all the way towards here and put something bigger in the back. So I could put a Nintendo Switch right here. I could put maybe a Bible. This is my Bellroy Field Notes cover. Uh, this is just a, you know, three by five notebook size. I've got a little Field Notes notebook in there. This is my Habanachi or Hibonacci uh, 2024 planner. And as you can see, really nice little planner. I love analog tools and I love writing things down. And so this actually helps me out a lot, but those two fit right there. This was made in um, anticipation of the iPad mini. And this is an iPad mini. So the iPad mini is a uh, 8.3 inch screen. And uh, what you've got is I've got a little smart cover on this. They don't really make keyboard covers for these, but this is a smart cover for the iPad mini and it fits in here. It's got a nice, if you can see in here, it's got a nice textured, soft kind of thing where you can put, I can actually take this off. In all the shot, the product shots, they show the iPad mini just by itself. It fits wonderfully back here. You could fit any eight to eight and a half inch tablet back here no problem at all. You could fit a Ken, I could fit an iPad and a Kindle back here probably if I wanted to. So very cool uh, to be able to use this. And I love this interior the way it is. And I love the fact that you've got um, a lot of room to put a lot of different configurations of stuff. Again, they took a note from the Evergoods Cap 2L on that. But I could fill this up with pretty much anything that I want. And it also functions as a desk organizer. It functions as a sling as well. And so really enjoying this. Um, again, Alpaca did not send this my way. I got on the Kickstarter in September. They delivered in mid-December. I'm very happy. I cannot wait for this to go on sale. I will be sure to link that below. And even if it's not for sale when this video goes live, I will make sure to link the uh, link it below. So if this is after January, maybe even first of February of 2024, I will make sure to link that below. But give me your thoughts on this. What do you think about this organizer? This is the X-Pack version. There's also an Axo Flux version. That's maybe not so, uh, it's not, not got necessarily so rough stuff on it. And it has a gray, light gray interior. And I'll show some footage of that, but I have really started to enjoy um, this pouch. This is going to be part of my EDC. It's going to go inside of my GORUCK 16 liter dual layer bullet backpack. And it is going to be my EDC of choice moving forward uh, this year. So what did you think about that? What did you think about all this other different stuff? Let me know down in the comments. You got, again, I, I just keep going through this and touching all of it. You've got a lot of organization here, uh, a lot of different things, but not too much. I feel like uh, some of the peak design stuff had too many layers and too much organization, too much fabric. This, this feels like the right amount of fabric. And so again, let me know what you think in the comments. I always read your comments and I will always try to respond to every single comment. 
And also make sure that you're subscribed and all that stuff doesn't cost you anything to like or subscribe to the channel. And I really appreciate it. Again, my new EDC for 2024, the Vertex pouch. I hope you'll think about picking one up and uh, I know it's gonna be good for me as well. Thank you very much. Go out and have a great rest of your week and God bless you.